Hello everyone, in a recent video I mentioned about doing backups on my system and that how if all my data was trashed it would actually take very little time for me to get back up and running. So in this video I'm going to show you exactly what I do for my home network, including the mobile phone as well. So this is my main system under the right hand side of my desk. And this was a picture of the inside of it when I first built it. But I realize now looking at this that uh, things have changed a little bit here because I now have an NVMe drive plugged in here. So it's a Samsung one terabyte NVMe drive. So that holds like most of my day to day stuff, documents, pictures, music, videos, virtual operating systems. So yeah, there's quite a bit going on here. But I also have a couple of old solid rust drives, old three and a half inch uh, drives on the, on the right hand side here. So there's a four terabyte drive which holds other larger files, things I'm not actively using at the moment, like my old backup videos, uh, larger games which I'm not actively playing at the moment, anything that's not necessary on a day-to-day -day basis. And I have another drive here that I write full disk backup images to. So yeah, the program I use for writing those backup images is a program called Clonezilla. And they all end up in a folder which is nicely dated. So yeah, I can't actually read these, but yeah, they're a compressed image of the NVMe drive. This is the web page for Clonezilla. But essentially what you need if you want to do this is a copy of Clonezilla written to a USB boot disk. And Clonezilla is a free open source application which comes with a basic Ubuntu or Debian operating system, as well as the backup tool. And it's a very basic interface, but if you want to see more about it, I have done a couple of videos on Clonezilla, which I'll link to in the video description. So that is how I back up this computer, but I don't just do one backup of anything. Oh no, oh no, I really go to town on things. So I also own a NAS, a network attached storage device. And this is sat downstairs in my lounge, and yeah, I put lighting inside my NAS, uh, cold cathode lighting, because I think LEDs could be a bit harsh. Uh, but in this, it has, uh, oh, what is it? Two six terabyte drives, a three terabyte, and room for further expansion. So the NAS holds back up like documents, pictures, music files, they're all here, but uh, yeah, I can't recover the operating system from there. Although I have done some backups of the operating systems, like the full disk backups with Clonezilla, onto the three terabyte drive. But I notice I've not done anything recently for this computer. But yeah, I've got a couple of uh, other computers on there. So yeah, that's kind of a reminder for me to uh, sort that out at some point. Uh, make sure I've got a full disk image of this computer in more than one place. And the way I get my data onto the Home Theatre PC is with a program called Lucky Backup. So this is a graphical user interface to rsync. I'm sure I've done videos on this, but you know what, I've done so many videos I'm kind of losing track. So if I haven't, I'll try and get something done in the future. But yeah, I do an occasional run of Lucky Backup, which just blitzes through copying all the files from my main computer to the NAS. And yeah, the NAS holds other things as well. It holds like movies, uh, TV programs, which I watch on my home theater PC. And I also back up the NAS. <laughs> I tell you what, right, if, if you've lost data, if you've lost a spectacular amount of data, you want to make damn well sure you have more than one copy of it. Because that once happened to me, I lost six terabytes of data from my NAS and I had to reacquire it and it took pretty much like a month to get it back including some expense as well because I'd like ripped some CDs and then thrown them away or given them away and uh, yeah I couldn't find them again so I had to repurchase them which was a bit annoying. So I have a secondary NAS under the left hand side of my desk. This I pretty much built out of spare parts although I did have to buy the case so it's an M80X ATX sized case and is great for putting my feet up on. So yeah, I get a nice little footrest under my desk. So the inside of it, it has a similar layout to the drives to the NAS. So it's a couple of six terabyte drives and a three terabyte drive. And the data gets on there for our bash script, which runs rsync against various different folders. So yeah, essentially what it does here is, well, I mount the NAS as an NFS file share 
So that's how I use NAS predominantly on my Linux devices. Well, actually, as I predominantly use it these days, I don't have any Windows uh, devices other than my work laptop, which has no interface with this lot. So yeah, I use NFS to mount the NAS shares and then copy the data from essentially one mounted drive, sorry, the other way, from the NFS share to the fixed mounted drive in the backup NAS. And that backup NAS remains off predominantly. So if anything was to actually get into my computer and trash the backups, because this is what you have to remember, if someone gets into your systems, they're gonna have a look around, maybe find a folder called backup, and then trash the contents of that. And then they go after the rest of the data. So this is ransomware, and this is pretty much what affects many businesses. So businesses think they've backed up well, uh, but leave a route to their backups available through all devices. So yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, definitely something you want to avoid. But the last thing to mention is the backups of the phone. So on my Android phone, I just recently installed Nextcloud again. So this is something I've had before, but I pretty much just threw together again because it's a reminder about all this. So I should do more backups, not just be reliant on the Google Cloud storage. So I have Nextcloud installed on my NAS. So that is how I back up my home network, including my Android phone. So that's all done using free open source software and a large quantity of hard drives. But if you want to do something a little bit simpler than this, I would suggest just looking at Clonezilla. Back up onto a USB hard drive. A USB hard drive which you don't leave permanently plugged into your system. So yeah, once you've done your backup, just unplug it, put it aside, and then should the time come that you desperately need it, it'll be there and you can recover. So that is a very basic and cheaper way of doing the backups. Yes, I've done something very extravagant here with multiple computers. I mean, I probably went too far with the secondary NAS, but at the time, I just had enough computer parts floating around that I could easily put that together. I'd upgraded other computers over time and yeah, I, I just didn't need those parts anymore. So yeah, that is uh, how I do my backups on my home network. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you all later. Mm -hmm.